guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is so very special. We're going to talk about all drugstore makeup today. These are some of the drugstore gems that I recently found this year and I have absolutely fallen head over heels over. Some of them are my in my staple routine. I cannot, cannot live without these. So if you want to see how I achieve this look and what are my top favorites from the drugstore, then please keep on watching. I'm so excited to dive into the makeup. So let me show you how I achieved the brows because that's the only thing that I've uh, done. I use my NYX brow tint pen. You absolutely cannot go wrong with this brow pen. I love, absolutely love this one. It competes with one of my favorite high-end brands, brow pen too from Benefit. But I just go back to this again and again because of the affordability and it stands very close to the other one. And you can see how effortless that was. Like this NYX brow tint pen. I have mine in the shade Espresso. Beautiful product. Absolutely stunning product. And now once we have the brows all in place, let's move on to the primer. I'm going to recommend two primers and I feel like both of these primer are absolutely wonderful. One you've seen me apply tons and tons of times on this channel and that's the e.l.f. putty primer. This is the poreless liquid poreless putty primer. Beautiful for the pores. 100% would recommend this. But you've not seen me apply this on the channel before. And it is a hidden gem, absolute hidden gem. And this is from Wet n Wild and this is the Impossible Primer. This is a silicone free primer and the way it helps to last the makeup for such a long time, it is absolutely wonderful. It's like a jelly product. Can you see that? Oh, it reminds me so much, so much of like so many high end um, primers and it is definitely more like cooling too. You know what it reminds me of? More of like that benefit professional primer oh it's so cooling oh it's it's amazing if you guys have not tried this primer i would highly highly suggest you to just give it a try it's like a couple of bucks and it is so wonderful you can definitely find it on alta's website too and alta is actually right now having a black friday sale going on so definitely snag it right now out of the drugstore foundations in general i want to recommend one thing if you've not tried before it is the maybelline superstay foundation i love the l'oreal version too but this has app i don't know what is in it like this has absolutely knocked it out of the ballpark for me i really love the l'oreal one too but somehow like the shade match is so perfect for me in the maybelline skin tint that i cannot even recommend like anything else i cannot stop wearing it i've completely utilized one bottle this is my second bottle i am in the shade 322 it's it's so perfect for me so let's put that all across my face by the way i am more of like a medium to tan with a neutral undertone I can get away with like a little bit of peach in it. I really love, look how flawless the foundation shade matches me. Like it cannot be like of a better match for me. And it gives you a good medium buildable coverage, but it doesn't feel like anything is sitting on your skin. It is so lightweight. And that's what I'm looking for when I'm looking for uh, foundations or skin tint. This is a skin tint product but definitely gives the coverage of a foundation, which what is not to love about it. Like one lightweight product that gives you all the coverage that you need and how easy and effortless was it to blend. I kept everything intact, like in real time. And you can see it's stunning, absolutely stunning product. Okay, let's move on to concealer. Uh, a new favorite of mine is this NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Tan. Quickly, quickly st stood up to the all of the claims that you were telling me. Of course, I love my Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. But this has definitely taken the place. Just because Milani can be a little bit more on like a thicker side. This is more serum -y. 
but I've not missed my Milani concealer, I would say that. And that's a huge plus point because I absolutely love that concealer. And in that, I am in the shade 145, if you want to just shade reference. Look how awake it makes me feel. But also, it's not heavy on the skin, which is beautiful. I mainly focus it on the inner part of the eyelid here, just because my discoloration is most in that area. And then I just spread it out from there to underneath the eyes and also to the center of my face. Okay, once you have all of this in place, let's move on to a cream product. Before we dive into all the powder products, I want to recommend cream blushes to you. And I feel like both of these cream blushes, like liquid brush blushes, are so beautiful. One is from e.l.f. Again, you've seen me use this again and again. This shade in particular is the shade Suave Mauve. And a very, very similar shade is from this Emco Beauty. And I love this product if you've not heard it. This is Dream Liquid Dewy Blush. And this one, I am in the shade Nude Mauve. We're going to apply this today just because I don't think I've applied this on the camera. But it is so pretty on the skin. I'm just going to take it on the back of my hand and I'll show you the shade. It's such a beautiful mauve shade. Rare Beauty has a shade in Courage, which is such a beautiful dupe to this. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm gonna take it on the brush and I'm just gonna apply that right on my cheek. It's such a beautiful, soft mauve shade. I'm gonna apply it right there. And yes, you can apply it on top of the powder too. Just because I remember today, I'm applying it underneath. But also, I want to apply another powder blush on top. I want to recommend as many products as I can to you guys. If you're not into cream blushes, I have recommendations for powder blushes too. And these are all like new favorites. You can definitely refer to my older favorite videos too. And I'll link some in the iCards above for you guys. Because I absolutely stand by those products to still date. Okay, let's move on to the powder, uh, loose setting powder. Milani Conceal and Perfect Loose Setting Powder is my absolute favorite. Absolute favorite, I would say. I'm gonna take that. I love the packaging as well as the product inside is beautiful. It blurs out everything on my skin, which I generally look for. Look at this side versus this side. It's beautiful, you guys. I'm just gonna Tap that right there on the center of my face and then I'll take a loose fluffy brush and then just pat it all across my face. I generally do go with a powder puff towards the center just to eliminate any like texture or anything and I just want a, like a light dusting all across my face so I go with a brush. Love it. Okay, a powder bronzer that performs like great like high-end products is from L'Oreal and this is the L'Oreal Infallible. Definitely not a surprise to anyone who watches my channel. I have mine in the shade medium. I have a good dent going on. This is like my everyday bronzer but I cannot stop wearing it because it's such a beautiful tone too and the quality is right there. I love, love this product definitely competes with some high-end formulas that I have in my collection. Beautiful, beautiful product. I do love the infallible line all together, like from the powder, the blushes, um, the bronzer. Do they have a highlighter? I don't have it in my collection. We'll need to check that. Like the foundation, everything is so pretty. But definitely, like bronzer is my absolute favorite. So once we have the bronzer, I want to recommend powder blushes. Now this is a new product from Jason View, uh, and this is their Woo blushes. I have mine in the shade Magnolia and Hydrogenia. These are some beautiful, beautiful blushes. Let me show you this shades. Like they have many more shades, but these are the two shades that I have. They're so blurring on the face, you guys. So pretty. I'm going to use this shade. Take that. 
it's so beautiful like look at the pigmentation and this is the lighter one out of the two uh, the shade Magnolia it just has that blurring property to it that gives a soft blur on the face I love it currently Jason Wu products I think you can find it in Target my Target definitely carries it but I actually picked these things along with one more product you will see in the future love that product and I, they were having some kind of a sale uh, on their website and I that's when I snagged everything from them and I was like blown away, absolutely blown away. Let's move on to the highlighter till date. I feel like Revlon Skin Lights is my favorite highlight from the drugstore. Cannot recommend enough, you guys. This is such a beautiful product. This one is the shade Daybreak Glimmer. Let me just take that on the high points of the face. Just for the sake of recommending, I didn't want to pick up another like highlighter because I do have a lot of highlighters. But I was like, I, I want to recommend the best of the best to you guys. And this is the best of the best. Okay, let's melt everything together with a setting spray. And I have to recommend the Morphe setting spray. I picked up a new bottle. Um, this was like the jumbo version. I was like, yes, please, I need it. So let's do it. It's so good and such a fine mist. Oof, beautiful. So once it's doing its magic, let's move on to the eyes. Jason Wu came out with new eyeshadow palettes. And I, you, if you've seen me, you know I don't recommend many eyeshadow palettes. Uh, but when I tried this palette from Jason Wu, I definitely was impressed by this. Not the color story in general, but the eyeshadow quality. So if you like a color story, I think you'll absolutely love it. So I am going to do an eyeshadow look with this. Uh, they have a lot, like at least in this one. This one is in the shade... I don't know the name of the palette, but it's called Flora 9. A lot of the shades in this has like that matte with... Uh, shimmer particles in it like this one this one this one this one I'm not a big fan of that so being very very honest uh, but the shimmer and the matte like the way it blended on my eyes was absolutely beautiful I'm going to start off with that deeper shade in the center and I'm going to take that right there in the outer corner these blended very very nicely so I thought, yes, after a long period of time, there is an eyeshadow palette that I could recommend from drugstore. Does it compete with my high end or indie? No, like not color story wise for sure. But I love the way this was blending like the quality was right up there. So I felt like I could recommend something to you guys. Okay, next I'm going to take this uh, shade, this one the brown shade in the palette i'm gonna just take that on my brush and i'm gonna just take that on the crease it's like a warm brown it definitely has that golden sheen running throughout it which you can see it on your eyes too like it it doesn't i cannot say that when you blend it it just blends away because i definitely can see that sheen coming through i don't mind it I just wanted to tell you guys, but it blends very, very nicely. So beautifully, it's melting across. That's very pretty. I'm going to take the same shade on the lower lash line too. I think in the sale, I got this palette for like $9. And I was like, for $9, I am not skipping to try a Jason Wu product and hardly I've been like disappointed with any of the Jason Wu products so I definitely wanted to give them a try and I don't think I'm disappointed at all like if you're looking for a palette on a uh, like a lesser price this is beautiful quality okay now to blend everything out I'm gonna take this shade this tan shade I would say this one I'm going to just take that, the outer corner, just to melt everything out. 
For the shimmers, let's apply some NYX Glitter Glue on the bare portion of the eyelid. This is another product that I would highly recommend if you feel like your shimmers are not popping. You need this product in your life. I've gone through tubes and tubes of it and look at this. This is almost gone. That's how much I use it and that's how much I love this product. You absolutely don't need much. You just need a little bit, like a tiny, tiny bit. Just wait for it to get tacky and then go with your shimmers. So just pat it and see if it is a little sticky. And that's when I go with my shimmers. Okay, so let's go with this olive shade. Of course, I'm wearing an olive t-shirt. How can I not wear this? So I'm going to take that right in the center portion of the eyelid it doesn't have like that sparkle or shine it's a very creamy product like if you can see going back into that deeper brown shade and just melting everything together now i'm going to take this shade this um, pink to a golden flipping shade and i'm going to take that in the inner part of the crease and you can see how smooth it is but you can totally see that shift coming through too because of that golden shift it goes very very good with the olive too like look at that I love that Once everything is just melted with each other, I'm going to take another shade. Let's take this shade and I'm going to take that in my inner corner of the eyelid. It has that golden champagne shade. That's perfect for the inner corner. Okay, and I'm taking another shade. Let's take this one underneath the brow one. Just using maximum shade so that you can see everything in action. Okay, now let me finish off the eyes with some liner and mascara. And for that, I am going to take my Wet n Wild Break the Proof Liner, a holy grail in my opinion. And for mascaras, I would highly, highly suggest the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara or the Blend Bunny Mascara. On the website right now, I think Blend Bunny Mascara is for like $8 or something. If you're buying anything from Blend Bunny, Definitely, definitely get their mascara. It's absolutely wonderful. So let me finish this. For the waterline, I'm gonna recommend this product and you will not be disappointed. You need to get a nude shade, a black shade and a brown shade from this Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil line. Uh, this one is the shade Silky Nude. We have Black Love and Espresso Brown. It is beautiful. I'm wearing the black on my eyes right now. It is such a creamy formula and it doesn't budge at all. I'm a crier. Like I, I watch an emotional movie and I'll cry. But I, that product never budges. I would 100% recommend if you love like kajal eyeliners, you would absolutely love it. Okay, let's move on to the lip liners. I feel like majority of the lip liners that I have are from drugstore. They have some amazing formulas. But my top three, top three I would suggest is either from NYX, which is their uh, Line Loud Lip uh, Pencils. I would highly recommend these three shades. The deeper one is the shade Rebel Kind. The cooler tone brown is the shade Too Blessed. And the warm tone brown is a shade called Total Baller. Love, love, love. Absolutely love this formula. And then we have uh, of course, Colourpop Lip Liners. I absolutely would recommend Colourpop Lip Liners. Uh, my favourite is definitely BFF3, which I have two actually. One an older version and one, I just bought this one. And then BFF4 and CTRL are one of my favourite, favourite like brown lip liners. I'm a big brown lip liner person, if you cannot say. Um, and then my new current absolute favorite is from Maybelline and this is their lifter liners. 
I have two with me and one in there and I have one here. This is the one that I use the most and this is the shade Cross the Line. I definitely need to buy more shades, but let me show you how creamy it is. They, are, they do not budge. They melt with any lipstick with no problems at all. I absolutely would recommend this product. Now, also in the lipstick category, I feel like drugstore is absolutely killing it. Uh, from the liquid lipstick category, my favorite two are from Revlon uh, and the Maybelline Vinyl. Lip. These two are absolute beautiful formula. This would last on your lips for the entire day, entire day and give you like a matte look. That's another thing. I love a good matte look on my lips, okay? That is not drying, but I love a good matte lip and this definitely gives, gives it to me. And this is more of like a light, um, lightweight, more like a glossy finish kind of a uh, lip, but it also stays for the entire day. Obviously that glossiness would go, but the tint would still remain. The only thing that you need to remember is you need to shake this and it'll, it'll stay. And I have several, several shades in my uh, collection. My favorite is the shade Cheeky, but I also love the shade Lippy. Um, I have Punchy. I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them. <laughs> okay. My, in the bullet lipstick category, I would still highly recommend the Milani uh, lipsticks. I absolutely love, love, love these lipsticks. Out of the brown lipsticks, my favorite is the shade Tease, which is the lighter tone uh, brown. And the deeper tone uh, shade is the shade Desire, which is my most used shade. Beautiful. And then my favorite, I feel like, product from Jason View Beauty is their lipstick. I have, again, several, several in my uh, collection. I feel like they have a very, <sighs> I would say on the lips, it is very similar to the Merit Matte Lipsticks. It's not as soft as that, but the look is so very similar. Uh, these are my favorite three shades from them. I have the shade Apple Pie. Let me swatch this because this I feel like is not like readily available, but look at the Look how much I've used it first, but the shades are so pretty. This is apple pie. Love to pair it with like a brown lipstick. It's a very unique shade. I really love that. And then we have the shade Nutmeg Spice. This is my most used shade, which is like a traditional brown shade, but with like a cooler neutral undertone, I would say. So that's Nutmeg Spice. And then we have this shade, beautiful shade. It's Danish, I think. Yeah, Danish. It's more like on a cooler tone purpley shade, like a 90 shade, I would say. Look at that. Those are the three shades. I am going to wear Nutmeg Spice just because I feel like that would go with this eye look very, very nicely. So let's take that. Look how beautifully like pigmented it is. I absolutely love the look of it. I love it. And then from the gloss side, I feel like I do not even have to say anything about the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. This one is in the shade Ice. I'm not going to wear it just because I love a good matte lip here. But this is like a baby pink, like a translucent, I would say, shade. But it has such beautiful shine to it. Can you see that? It has like that a little bit of like blue sparkle that gives that iciness to with a nude lip this looks amazing i also love a good uh, lip gloss from l'oreal that's also amazing did we forget anything i don't think so and i love love the way how this turned out so let me show you my final look i love the way how this makeup turned out you will never say that this is like from drugstore. It is so pretty. It's so elegant on the eyes too. I really, really love the way how this turned out. My favorite, favorite thing, if I have to recommend, uh, Jason Wu lipsticks, 100% would recommend this. Maybelline lifter glosses, 100%, 1000% would recommend that. Hmm. This is a must have, a must have in your collection, I would say. Oh my gosh, it's a very much a tie between these two primers, okay? I really, really love both of these. So those are like my top, tippy top recommendations from the drugstore. Uh, but yes, 
I definitely love the way how this turned out. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Have you tried anything from these uh, brands? And is there anything else that is like a bigger favorite for you apart from the things that I uh, mentioned for you guys? If you do have anything like that's your tippy top favorites, do let me know in the comment section below. I'll definitely give it a try. But that's all for today. If you did like this video, you know what to do. Do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys